Assalamualaikum and hello everyone In this video, we're going to learn a new um, subtopic Which is 12.2 Alkin So as you can see here, your learning outcome is quite a lot Okay, but first and foremost, what we're going to learn is actually We're going to draw the structure and name the compounds according to the IUPAC nomenclature Where we're going to talk about the straight chain and the branch alkin The cyclic alkenes and as well as simple diins Okay, so let's look uh, on page 10. So here is your IOPAC nomenclature. Okay, okay. yang sebelum ni, previously alkene, we're going to look at determine the parent name by sel selecting the longest chain. Tapi for the case of alkene ni, the longest chain tu must contain the double bond. And when the uh, chain contains more than 3 carbon, the numbering is needed to, de to indicate the location of the double bond. And the chain is numbered starting from the end closest to the double bond. Okay, for question A, we actually have 6 carbon. So, the name would be hexene. But then again, the double bond is actually pada carbon number 1. So, kalau nak tulis boleh, tak nak tulis pun, it's fine. Okay, question B, we have 8 carbon. So, 8 carbon, the name will be octene. Okay, tapi dalam case ni, okay, the contains more than 3 carbon and then the double bond is not pada number 1 kan. So, we have to number it. But, if I count from left hand side dengan right hand side, the double bond would be uh, a different number. Okay, so, kalau miss uh, count from the right, from the red pen, it would be odd number 3. Kalau green pen, dia pada number 5. So, which one we're going to take? Kita akan, apa ni, uh, senang kita tulis both of the, apa ni, Choices, okay, and then we want the smallest number. So, kita akan dapat nama ni lah, 3 octane. Okay, question C. As we can see here, actually the, the longest carbon chain, the 7. But then again, for alkene kita nak, longest chain tu kena ada kita punya double bond. So, we can't accept this one. So, actually the longest carbon chain that we have is actually 5. Okay, so Miss Kira sini pun sama juga 5. Okay, tapi Miss uh, suka uh, tukar position pula. Okay, if I use the uh, purple one, dia akan nama dia 1 pentene. Tapi if I use the orange one, dia akan jadi 4 pentene. Okay, kita tak ambil 5 pentene lah. Okay, and then between two, kita akan choose the smallest one. Question D. E, uh, question D, you should try yourself. Question E, let's do it together. Okay, so we have the longest carbon chain kita 4. So, it's actually uh, kita punya uh, apa tu? Dia adalah butene. Okay, kalau guna the green one. Okay, butene dia, okay, double bond dia adalah pada number 2. Okay, and then it's actually we have our methyl CH3 kita kan. So, nama dia adalah 2 methyl 2 butene. Okay, that's for the green one. If I use the red one. Okay, nama dia lain lah pula. So, masih lagi butene. Tapi, actually pada carbon number berapa. So, we're going to uh, take the smallest number. Yang carbon-carbon double bond. Tapi, substituent kita, metal kita is actually pada number 3. Okay, so betul kan? So, we want our substituent tu pun the small number lah. Okay, sebab dalam case ni, butene kita nombor yang sama. So, we're going to take 2 metal to butene. F, G, H. Uh, F dengan G, you should try yourself. H, let's do it together. Okay, so H ni kita tengok the longest carbon chain. We have 6. Okay, and then, mana satu yang kita akan ambil 2 hexin ke 3 hexin, kita akan ambil the small number. So, nama dia akan jadi 2 hexin. But then again, tengok substituent dia. Kita ada all our methyl lah, CH3. So, kalau methyl kita sekarang ni ada 3, uh, apa nama dia? Prefixes dia. Okay. Kalau again, kalau 2 is di, kalau 3 is tri metal lah for tetra. Dalam kes ni, we have 3 so tri lah. Okay. And then, pada carbon number berapa? Pada 2, 5 and 5 tri metal to hexene. Okay. But then again, untuk name, naming tu, remember between the numbers, you have to use comma. But between the letter and the number, uh, we're going to use dash. Okay, so contohnya yang ni Miss Kira from left to right. Macam mana pula kalau right to left? Okay. Kalau dekat sini, kita tengok the number of substituent dia kecil. 
Tapi number of double bond kita tu yang besar sikit. So, kita tengok dekat sini. So, again, kalau for the case of alkene, priority kita adalah the carbon-carbon double bond itself. So, walaupun the number of substituent tu nampak kecil, we want the, uh, the number of our alkene tu must be a small number. Okay, so that's why the purple one is our choice. So, now let's look for the cycloalkene. Dalam kes ni, senang sikit cycloalkene ni, kalau double bond, it must be number 1 and 2. So, nanti kamu, um, it's just that, we're going to count it whether it's going to be clockwise ataupun anti-clockwise lah. Okay, so let's look for example I. So, here I count the pink one, okay, and then the blue one. Okay, so kita tengok if the naming, okay, kita tengok, uh, we're going to straight go to the naming itself. Okay, kalau we use the blue one, dia adalah 5 meter cyclopentin. If I use the red one, dia adalah... 3 methyl cyclopentin. Again, we want the substituent mestilah the small number. So, we want the uh, 3 methyl cyclopentin. Okay, so yang J ni pun, okay, we're going to do it together. Okay, so count yourself lah, tengoklah clockwise ataupun anti-clockwise. Starting dengan carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, so kalau guna red one, we got this name. 1, 3, dimethyl, cyclopentin. Kalau we use the green one, we got 2, 5, dimethyl, cyclopentin. Okay, again, kita punya apa ni? Our requirement is actually the substitute with a small number. Okay, again, lepas tu for our cyclic, Compound, cyclic alkene, there's no need for numbering lah. Sebab, kalau dalam kes straight chain yang kena, kalau memang in cyclic alkene, memang apa ni, double bond tu number 1 and 2. Requirement kita, kita tengok lepas tu adalah substitute the small number. So, for K, uh, L, M, N, N, you should try yourself. Okay, so now let's look for the last case. Okay, kita tengok dekat sini, if more than one double bond present, we're going to change the in to to die in ataupun try in. So, let's look for the first example. We have four carbon. Okay, so selalunya kalau four carbon, we we write down butene kan. Okay, but then again, we have two double bond. So, kena ada die lah. Okay, so between but dengan in tu kena ada die. So, kita buat kat sini but die in tapi dia jadi... Uh, but die in ataupun buta die in So pada carbon number berapa? Carbon number 1, 3 buta die in Okay, kalau P ni pula Okay, we count, we have 6 carbon Okay, bila 6 carbon maka dia adalah hexene But then again, kita tengok Dia adalah, dia ada 3 double bond So it's going to be tri Hexa triene Okay, but then pada carbon number berapa? 1, 3 and 5. We want the smallest number possible lah. Okay, question Q. You should uh, try it yourself. Okay, last but not least what we're going to look at is actually the boiling point for cis dengan trans. Okay, kenapa tiba ada cis dengan trans? Dalam kes alkin ni yang ada cis trans. Sebab uh, remember the requirement for cis trans is actually there's two. One, the molecule must have carbon-carbon double bond ataupun carbon-carbon in cycloalkane. Number one, mesti two different group lah attached pada restricted rotation tu. Okay. So, but then bila kita tengok um, pada naming, kita tak perlu naming cis trans. So, that's why I do not do any exercise for it. Okay. So, now let's look for the case of the boiling point. So, let's focus here. Kita tengok. Okay. Kita, uh, if you still remember, group more until 17. Sepatutnya uh, across the period, kita akan increase electronegativity which is the ability to attract electron. Okay. So, kita tengok carbon group 14, bromine group 17, hydrogen group 1. So, contohnya, kalau kita tengok between group 14 dengan 17 ni, kalau kamu masih, masih ingat lah, nota chapter 4 kan, kita kena buat arrow ke arah more electronegative atom. It means that more electron is attracted towards the electronegative atom. Okay, so, kalau between carbon dengan hydrogen, carbon will be the higher electronegativity lah uh, compared to hydrogen. So, kita buat arrow dia uh, to our hydrogen. Okay, so, kalau kita tengok arrow dia ni, if you do the resultant dapur moment, we know that Dia adalah zero so they cancel out. Okay, kalau cis pula, so kita tengok dekat sini. Okay, so one of the arrow here is uh, downwards. Okay, kalau yang from hydrogen to carbon pun downwards. So our resultant dapur moment is downwards and it's not equal to zero. Hence, we know that for the trans molecule, it's actually 
uh, non-polar molecule while cis adalah polar molecule. Okay, kalau non-polar molecule, the IMF yang dia ada hanyalah London force. Polar molecule pun ada London force. Tapi dia ada satu extra which is dipole-dipole force. Okay, so that's why cis molecule has higher boiling point sebab dia polar and dia ada intermolecular forces dia stronger sebab dia ada lagi satu extra which is your dipole-dipole force. Okay, so bila dia lagi um, is stronger, so it means that more energy is needed to overcome the force, to overcome the attraction lah. Uh, force is what kita kata attraction between the molecule itself. Okay, and then, so the higher BP. Okay, so that's the explanation for the case of boiling point cis versus trans.